What's going on guys, Mr. Acolyte here, coming at you with a visual guide for the massive DBFZ community patch. This is a follow-up patch to the one that we got a few months ago. According to Arxis, this one is based on our feedback from the last patch. And not to spoil, but it is absolutely insane. I'm sure you've already seen some clips on Twitter. This is by far the biggest patch we've ever seen. Buffs everywhere, changes everywhere, new moves. It is ridiculous. I think this patch is amazing and I'm super excited to go ahead and visually break it down. We got a ton of stuff to go over, so let's not waste any time and jump right on into it. So before we jump into characters, let's quickly knock out the universal changes because one of those changes is massive and it's reflected in literally every character. So rather than repeat it for every character, we're just gonna talk about it here. But before we get to that, we'll talk about the kind of minor universal change, and that is the buff to Key Charge. Key Charge just has a little bit less recovery, just a little bit. It's kind of hard to notice, but it's one of those things where Arxis, they just really, really, really want Key Charge to be a thing. You know, I don't think the community will ever accept Key Charge as a thing because honestly, it is very, very good right now and we still don't use it. You know, you can do Dragon Rush out of it that goes full screen. It beats Key Blast. You can Super Dash from it. But it's just not something that people want to do when they're playing the game. Maybe that'll change in the future. Maybe this will push towards that. But hey, it's a little safer now to try to keep charge when someone's throwing key blasts at you. But now it is time to talk about the big one. This is the biggest change to the game mechanics in a while. This is on par with active tag. This is literally going to change everything, and I'm sure most of you have probably already seen this on Twitter. People are saying we, we have entered party game mode, and we kind of have, but I would say in a fun way, and that is because Limit Break has been buffed once again. So the new mechanic is when you are the last remaining character and you are in Limit Break, you can now cancel your level one super into your level three super. So as you can see, even off of a very simple combo, the damage from a level one into level three is very high. And again, all characters can do this. As a matter of fact, a lot of patch notes for a lot of characters go into detail about how their supers have been changed so that they can do a level one into level three. So for most characters, I will be skipping that information unless it's something that I feel is Notable, I'll probably bring it up, but in most cases, they have different changes to the hit reactions on their supers so that they can level one into level three. So now that we know what the universal changes are, let's go ahead and start breaking down each character one by one. SSJ Goku. SSJ got some really nice quality of life changes that not only make his combo routes more reliable, but give him some new combo routes altogether. First off, they sped up his Dragon Fist, both the light version, and the medium version both come out much faster. This now means that in a combo, you can very easily and very reliably get the light version, even if the opponent is at high hit stun. And you can now even get the medium version. And they do that nice little bounce to guarantee that you won't miss your super. For the EX version, not only is it a tracking overhead that has invincibility on it, they decided to make it more plus. So it's slightly more advantage than it was before. And then with his light Tatsu, they increase the speed of it and now comes out at a whopping eight frames. They also change the hit reaction so you can even get combos off of it. He's got some pretty crazy combo routes now thanks to this new move. Outside of that, he got a variety of super changes that are all to coincide with the new level one into level three comeback factor. Uh, the most notably being that his level three, when you stay Super Saiyan, travels further now. Altogether, I think this makes SSJ's already super powerful, super universal kit even scarier. 
Uh, this is going to up his damage and his combos, which is what he already excelled at. So basically, he's just a better version of himself. SSJ Vegeta. SSJ Vegeta basically received uh, top to bottom buffs. They basically buffed almost everything about him, basically all of his moves and his assists. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Starting with his auto combo, his LL now travels further. Very nice little buff there. His LLL has better frame advantage on block. It is now minus two. Very, very good. Uh, they completely buffed his rocket kick, the light version specifically, adding on to the buff he received before where he can move forward after it. Now on hit, they increased the untakeable time and adjusted the blowback. So when it hits, as you can see, the opponent kind of lingers there for a moment. And what that does is now if you hold forward, you can convert off of it. So now if it's blocked, you can hold forward and go for mix. And if it hits, you actually get a combo. That is a very, very considerable buff. And also the air version uh, has much less whiff recovery. When you whiff it in the air, it recovers almost instantly. So SSJ Vegeta's neutral is basically kind of cracked now. This next buff is kind of a follow-up to the last patch where they made it to where you can cancel continuous energy blasts in the last patch. Well, what they did is they increased the untech time on it. So now it is much easier to get the combo. Before, most people noticed that it was actually kind of hard to get this conversion here. But as you can see, it's much more consistent now that the untech time has been increased. And besides his main kit, they went ahead and buffed his assist. His B assist is lightning fast and travels lightning far. Check this out. Pretty funny, Vegeta disappears almost instantly. This this is definitely one of the better Lariat assists in the game now. Like, it is incredibly fast. It is plus 31, which is about the same as a beam. And it goes almost full screen, but even if it whips, he just disappears. So this is definitely an amazing Lariat assist now. And if that wasn't good enough, they buffed one of the most infamous assists in the entire game almost returning it back to its original glory. They buffed Vegeta A. It lasts much longer now. Check this out. Sheesh, a whopping plus 90. And if it actually hits the opponent, a whopping 16 hits. They're literally being hit forever. So needless to say, at neutral, this assist is ridiculous and might be the best defensive assist in the game now. So with all these changes together, Vegeta is now a complete, complete package. He is a great zoner, great neutral character, actually has mix now, has damage, has meter build, has some of the best assists in the entire game. So needless to say, he is a very, very high utility character, and it should be pretty easy to put him on just about any team. Piccolo. As usual, Piccolo got some very, very interesting changes. It seems like every patch, his changes are always among the funniest, and this is no different. Let's take a look. First of all, his S, Command Grab, now has armor partway through the animation. So I have 21 set here to mash after I press a button, and check what happens. You will literally grab them through their button if they try to mash, so... Needless to say, this is going to do a lot for his block string game. They also went ahead and sped up his JS. It grabs you much, much faster now, a whopping 23 frames. That is very, very fast. And not only that, it comes out even faster if the opponent is taking damage. So this is designed to help you with your piccolo loops and piccolo combos. If, if the opponent is taking damage, it's going to make that grab come out as quickly as possible to help you make sure you don't drop your hell zone loops. And besides that, they also went ahead and buffed another one of the most notorious assists, Piccolo A. Now when this assist connects, uh, it has more hit stop, which means they're stunned for longer, and it adjusted the blowback, so that means they don't get blown back as far. Check it out. And the same is true for his B assist. They went ahead and increased the hit stop on that as well. So if you take all those changes and combine them with the crazy changes that Piccolo received in the previous patch, 
I would say you've got a pretty monstrous character on your hands. Teen Gohan. Teen Gohan received some very, very scary buffs. This powerhouse character basically had his stagger and neutral game and combo game all buffed all at once. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, they made it possible for him to 4LL. That's right, he now has staggers. This crazy character can now stagger you. If you just hold back and tap light, you can actually fish with his stand light. That is going to be huge for Team Gohan mains. Add on top of that that they buffed his crouching light. It now travels further. He now like lunges forward a little bit when doing it. So again, this is buffing his staggers greatly and not just going forward, but it also has longer duration in the animation and has less recovery on block. And continuing with the stagger buffs, his stand medium now comes out faster at a whopping seven frames. And they also increased the travel distance. So he has a traveling stand medium that is seven frames. Deadly. And that's not all. His crouching medium also has a travel distance increase. Pretty nuts. This move already went pretty far. And as you can see, it travels even further now. And of all his button changes, this is the craziest. His jump medium has a new hit reaction when the opponent is in the air. It looks like that. They now spin out. And the purpose of that is to make his combos easier. So now, instead of having to have the opponent at a certain height and do something complicated, you can literally just do this. Anytime you hit his medium in the air, since they spin out, you now get the bomb loops. Moving on to his special moves, his medium rocket kick now travels faster. You can see at round start, it hits in about 11 to 12 frames, depending on the size of the other character. Same is true for the EX version. And as you may have just noticed, the EX version now has a little bit of a bounce after it. After it has been blocked, he will now bounce behind you and you can go for a mix up. And yes, you can pair this with assists and do a high mix-up or even a low thanks to the buffed distance of his 2L. Now, even when you're at a distance, you are still in mix range from Team Gohan. And lastly, he received a bunch of changes to his Super Kamehameha, the main one being that he can now super dash when it connects. <laughs> For this one, you probably don't need me to summarize and tell you that this character is an absolute monster now. Team Gohan has always been pretty much for like the last few years. He's been one of the strongest characters in the game, and he just got even stronger. Frieza. Frieza is a character that has struggled in this game for the longest time, and I believe that struggle is now completely over because he once again, just like the last patch, has received some insane buffs. Let's go ahead and go over them. First of all, they reduced the recovery on Light Death Wave. Light Death Wave is now minus two on block. Yes, you heard that right. This move, which takes up so much of the screen, comes out so fast, is now minus two. Absolutely insane. That's gonna do so much for his zoning. But if that's not all, they did the same thing to the medium version. Not only that, they sped it up. Uh, if you don't play Freezer, if you don't know, uh, his light uh, his light version used to be the fastest and the medium and heavy were a little bit slower. The medium is now the same startup speed as the light and is also minus two. So this is insane because this means Freezer's already incredible screen control is going to be even stronger. And the fact that it's minus two on the ground makes it about plus seven to plus eight if the opponent blocks it in the air. Very crazy. And if that's not enough, because of these changes, it is now insanely easy to hit confirm it. Due to the fact that you recover so quickly, you can very easily visually see that it hit, and you can either combo it with another one and vanish, Combo it with a regular one and vanish. Or combo it with a regular one into an assist. Needless to say, this is going to make Frieza's already insane screen control even more crazy. Death Saucer. They went ahead and sped up the discs even more. 
It's a little hard to tell just by looking, but Frieza has much, much less recovery here, and the discs do travel a little bit faster. So as you can see now when they block them, you're plus 17, which is just so insanely high. So again, one of his best moves is much better than before. This next one is huge. This is for all Golden Frieza fans. I think this is going to make me a Golden Frieza fan. They did not make Golden Frieza permanent, but what they did do, they reduced the recovery of the deactivation. Before when you deactivated Frieza would take a knee and for a while and then he would lay down and the entire time he would be, he'd be in a state where he can be supered. However, now, he is now in the vulnerable pose for only a few frames. So now if you simply mask it with an assist or a slow orb, even if you don't have assist, you use a slow orb, it's next to impossible for the opponent to actually punish you. And if that's not good enough, they also buffed Sorbet. They adjusted the time where you can call him during the feint, as well as increasing Sorbet's damage, increasing the hit stop, and adjusting the blowback if you're going for sorbet combos. So basically now, once again, if you do get knocked out of gold or if you turn it off yourself, you're basically safe because of the amount of block stun that they're in. It's not even enough block stun for them to be able to super you after blocking sorbet. And sorbet itself is invincible. So basically golden Frieza is free now. So this is another one where it's very, very obvious and you probably don't need me to tell you that Frieza is just so much stronger than he's ever been. He has finally taken his place as one of this game's premier zoners. If you combine the buffs that he got in the previous patch with these buffs, he is better than I ever imagined he could have ever been. Captain Ginyu, my trademark character. Ginyu's changes are absolutely insane. They are going to change the character forever, so let's go ahead and break those down right away. Starting off with, he got a few changes to his buttons, namely his auto combo has less recovery. It is now minus two on block, making it a great stagger button. Similarly, his 2M is now minus five when it used to be very punishable. Not only is this 2M fast enough to be a mix now, thanks to the previous patch, but with this patch, it is now a safe poke. But undoubtedly, his biggest change is what they did to his Ginyu Force calls. When you call the Ginyu Force, they now give you a little bit of meter. So as you see, just by calling Guldo there, it gave me a little meter, and then I got some meter for his attack being blocked as well. So Ginyu, a character who builds a crazy amount of meter, is going to build even more meter than before, which is just crazy. And if that wasn't crazy enough, they did the unthinkable. This is something that I never imagined they would ever do, but they gave Ginyu the ability to negative edge his summons. So now if you simply hold the button down, it will delay the call and change up the timing of when they appear on the screen. This is going to lead to so many crazy different kinds of interactions and mix-ups and setups. I just, I almost can't even believe this is real. It's literally going to change everything about them. It's nuts. However, I do have a little bit of bad news though. Ginyu did also get nerfed. And I'm sad to say it is a huge nerf. He can no longer combo into body change using Guldo. <laughs> to offset that nerf, uh, they increase the amount of damage you do to yourself when you hold the button down. It, it does about 70%, which is insane. So. The four bar body change super now basically kills the character. So that's really, really good. But you're probably wondering now, if you can't combo into it with Guldo, how do you combo into it? Well, the answer is you can now do it with the limit break system change. So of course that is really, really good. 
really, really cheap, but the caveat is now that is the only body change situation in the game. Even uh, going into Spark and Empty Vanishing no longer works. This is now the only way to body change. So pretty much all body change combos are dead. This is the only body change, and it only works in the corner too. But rather than focusing on the nurse, let's go over his last couple of buffs. He, he does still have a few more buffs. So they went ahead and buffed his level two. They changed the hit reaction on it when you do the level two charge. So now you can actually get level two into level three mid screen. And so that we end this on a positive note with Ginyu, they did another massive, massive crazy change. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, take a look at this. I'm on Birder, right? It is Birder's turn, but what happens when I do my level three here? That's right, you can now reset the rotation anytime you hit your level three. Just by doing a level three, you can hold down whatever button you want during the animation, and it will change the rotation to whatever character you want. Light is Guldo, medium is Raccoon, heavy is Birder, and S is Jeez. So all in all, I'm pretty, I'm very happy with Ginyu's changes. I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I am, uh, you know, it still stings that at this point body change is dead, but all things considered, the negative edge combined with the level three and the buffed level five, I think Ginyu is definitely the strongest that he's ever been, even without access to body change. Trunks, now this is one of the most requested characters for more buffs, and I'm here to say Arxis has answered your prayers because Trunks' buffs are absolutely ridiculous. Let's go ahead and break them down. So starting with his auto combo, his LLL now moves further. It now moves full screen, if you can believe it. And if that's not crazy enough, once the LLL starts up, it is fully invincible. Absolutely insane. This next one, I think is his most requested change ever they completely buffed his 5S. It now has more hit stun, more untackable time, and they adjusted the blowback. So now it is much easier to combo into his 5S with assists, and 5S into beam is now a true combo. They did a similar change to his Jump S. It now has a better blowback on hit to help with sword combos. And moving on to his special moves, his medium and heavy Shining Slash now cause a wall bounce. Next up, the flips. All three flips got buffed in a very crazy way, starting with the light and medium. Both the light and medium versions had their recovery reduced. So you barely have any landing recovery at all, and in most instances, none, which is huge. And now on all three versions, he can now cancel his flip into an air dash. So now his flip mix potential is even crazier than it already was before. When it comes to his supers, they are mostly changes for the new mechanics, but his most notable change, if you hold S and H when doing his level three, he will now perform a lunge. And now if you combine that with a dash, you can finally get his level three mid screen without having to spend extra meter. And if that wasn't crazy enough, thanks to the system mechanics, as we've mentioned many times before, he now has access to his own level five. Check it out. So put that all together and now Trunks' neutral mix and damage have all gotten a considerable boost. 
So I think that he is even more of a complete package than ever before. Cell. Cell is among some of the craziest changes in this entire patch. He basically just gained a bunch of new tools that he never had before. And I think it's going to really strengthen his kit overall. Let's take a look. First of all, they sped up the speed of his standard key blast. This was already one of the fastest in the game, but now it comes out at a whopping seven frames. Crazy. Same for his crouching S. It now comes out much faster. They buffed his command throw. So now it comes out much faster to help you to catch people off guard as well as use it in combos. They also adjusted the damage compensation because now in the corner you can actually combo off of it. Next up, his perfect attacks have all been buffed considerably. The light and medium versions both start up faster. As you can see, the light is 10 frames and so is the medium. They're both very, very fast. And then probably his craziest change is the EX is now completely invincible from the middle of the animation. So basically, once he starts flipping, this move is totally invincible and is still safe on block. They also completely buffed all of his rolling crush attacks. The light version has been sped up. It is now a whopping six frames, minus two on block. You can also control how much it travels. And you can also move forward by hitting forward after landing. So putting all these things together, Cell, who is arguably already one of the scariest characters in the game when he gets close, just got that much scarier. Android 18. Even before this patch, 18 was already one of the favorites for the title of, you know, top three, top five in the game. And she just got buffed again. She did not receive many buffs, but the few she did receive are basically going to change the way that she's played forever. Let's take a look. The first change is to the second part of her auto combo. It now moves further forward. The second is to her crouching light attack. It had its pushback reduced. So now the opponent will stay closer to you as you try to stagger them with crouch light. It also leaves them in range for her command grab. And now the big one, this is a continuation of the change she received last patch. She now has access to the Air 17 calls for both light and medium while on the ground. So if you do 17 and hold the L, you can now do the uppercut from the ground and vice versa. You can do the knee in the air. And crazily enough, this is also true for the medium. You can get the Air 17 now while on the ground. Absolutely crazy. Plus 35, by the way. And that also means you can get the ground version while in the air. Needless to say, 18 is far and away one of the strongest characters in the game. And with these new tools, there's just no telling what she's going to be capable of. Gotenks, this is a very notorious character for being insanely strong in the last patch, and he's getting buffed once again. He got a variety of quality of life buffs. Let's go ahead and break those down. The first one is a pretty big one. This has always been complained about since the beginning of the game. That is his 2H moving forward and constantly whiffing super dashes and anti-airs. Uh, that has been alleviated. If you now hold down or down back, he no longer moves forward. He just goes straight up. The next change is one of the funniest in the entire patch. It's one of those things that makes you think that you might be looking at a fan mod, but no, I can assure you this is real. He can now cancel his JS into JS. His next change is a super unique one. It's very, very unique to this game. If you press up during the startup of his beam, he will now jump and do a high beam instead of the ground beam. So now you can basically tiger knee his beam without having to actually tiger knee it. That's pretty funny. Continuing on with his hilarious buffs, uh, as everyone knows, Galactic Donut, you can change the height of it by pressing up. Well, why stop there? You can also now press left or right to 
basically predict your opponent's movement and potentially trap them. And lastly, they buffed his C assist. You also have the up input press. So now if you call his C assist and hold up, it'll become an anti-air assist. So needless to say, if you take all these changes and add them to the already crazy kit that Gotenks has, he is just nothing but an absolute menace. Krillin. Krillin got some very nice changes, both to his zoning, his neutral, and his mix-up potential. Let's take a look. First off, they went ahead and buffed his Key Blast and now comes out much faster. As you can see, it's even faster than before. Not only that, they reduce the recovery on the additional input. So now when you curve it, he has much less recovery than before. They, of course, did the same thing to the jumping version. Next up is the Solar Flare. It now comes out even faster than before. Keep in mind, this is a frame one anti-air that is completely safe. This is effectively a DP as long as the opponent is in the air, and it now comes out in a whopping nine frames. And most likely his absolute craziest change, his EX after image is now invulnerable. You can no longer 2H this on reaction. You have to respect the mix here because partway through the animation, he is actually invul. This can even pass through supers. It is pretty, pretty crazy. This is going to do a lot for his mix-up game. While Krillin only received a couple of changes, they're pretty much all changes to like the most important tools in his kit. Having solo mix, potentially more damage and an even better reversal. Put that all together and he is just absolutely insane. Kid Boo, Kid Boo got some very interesting and very unique changes in this patch. Starting off with, he has a brand new move. He now has a down S in the air. Doing down S will now do this arcing shot. This will definitely help with his neutral, which he didn't really need help in, but now his neutral is going to be even stronger than before. Next up, basically to Spike Cloud 805, they buffed Candy Beam. And besides that, he mostly just has changes to his super to go in line with the Limit Break changes. And the most notably being that when you do Human Extinction Ray, uh, pellets now fall much more quickly. The super is actually invincible faster too, so now you can actually get the rain to come down very, very quickly. Kid Buu is one of those characters that people have wanted to see basically make a big comeback, and I feel with all these new tools plus getting his damage back, he is definitely a very, very strong universal character in this game now. Majin Buu, this is another character that a lot of people have wanted to see more of, and based on early reactions from a lot of Majin Buu players, it seems that people are very happy because he got a lot of mix-up focused buffs. Let's go ahead and check those out. Starting with his buttons, they sped up his LL and increased the movement distance. And they also drastically increased the distance of his command grab afterward. His jumping heavy has also been sped up. This is one of his best pokes and now it comes out lightning fast. Next up is his dive bomb. They increased the block stun, so now it is much more positive on block. And lastly, his trademark move, the fat throw, now comes out much faster than before. So all in all, most people would agree that Majin Buu was already a scary character in the right hands, and now he just has even more tools to work with than before. Nappa. This is a crazy one. Nappa's changes are pretty insane. I think he might be on the short list of winners of the patch. Let's go ahead and take a look at his crazy, crazy changes. So starting with his buttons, his crouch medium now has a vacuum property. And yes, this does mean corner steals. Next up, his 5S got a block stun buff. It is now positive on block. Moving on to special moves, his arm break also got a block stun buff. It is now neutral on block. 
Anytime you do his overhead now, you do not lose your turn even if the opponent blocks it. Joining Videl and Teen Gohan as of this patch, he can now super dash off of his level one super. And saving the best for last, they buffed Cyberman again. Cyberman now has a new hit reaction for their claw and slide attack. Check this out. That's right, you saw that correctly. That was a four hit combo. The Cyberman is effectively an auto combo now. You no longer have to convert him if they get hit at all. The Cyberman now takes care of it. With all these changes put together, it is clear to see that Nappa mains are absolutely feasting in this patch. Android 16. 16 got some pretty interesting quality of life changes. Starting with his jumping light, they increased the duration. So now it lasts a little bit longer, allowing him to defend himself or bring people down out of the air more easily. For special moves, they went ahead and buffed his dunks. The medium dunk actually starts up much faster. The H version starts up faster when in the air, and they also buffed the shockwave version on the ground. As you can see, the opponent now stays closer to 16 and they are stunned for longer. They made a few tweaks to his Hell's Flash Super. If you do the ground version now, it is zero on block. And with his level three, they buffed the grab distance. And his final buff is pretty hilarious. He can now combo into the I have no choice. This is now a comboable level three, but the catch is that the damage is reduced. So if you have like a C assist, you can combo it into the C assist, which is pretty cool, pretty funny. But as you can see, the damage is about half. I'm not really sure what the point of this one is, is maybe it's just meant to be funny. I'm not sure, but either way, it's it's a change, and I guarantee there are definitely going to be people that try to go for this in online matches. So putting that all together, combining that with his previous changes in the last patch, I mean, 16, I, al I already felt like was one of the stronger grappler archetype characters in the game, and with these extra quality of life changes, it is even more likely that opponents are going to get dunked. Yamcha. This is a character who most players agreed had the least interesting buffs of the last patch, or should I say least effective, because the buffs were interesting, such as putting invincibility on his normals, but it just didn't really pan out right. But I am happy to say this time, it seems like his changes are the real deal. So first of all, they buffed the unteckable time on his Air H. This just means that they are stunned for longer, which opens them up for more air combos. They also buffed his 2S in a very cool and very crazy way. If you now press 2S, he shoots a slow fireball. This is actually amazing for his game plan, because now if somebody is in the air, you are going to be able to get in on them more easily with plus frames. Continuing on, they also buffed his JS. It's the total opposite. It now moves much faster. This seems even faster than Zamasu's S. This is incredibly fast. So this will help a lot with sniping opponents out of the air, as well as they changed the hit effect. So if you combine this with his Air H buff, you get this. They also decided to add a little bit of mix to his Wolf Fang Fist. At any point now during Wolf Fang, you can cancel into a Dragon Rush. You can do it simply by hitting back 
and DR. Putting this all together, I feel like Yamcha's kit is much more complete than it's ever been. I've seen some really crazy new combo routes thanks to his new S and his new H. He's actually got some really spiffy looking rejumps as well. I think it's finally time to say that Lord Yamcha might actually be back. Tension Han, this is another fan favorite character and another character that has been very strong in this game for a very long time. And in this patch, he received some pretty insane buffs. Let's take a look. Starting with his auto combo, his LL now travels further. They also buffed his jumping light. The second punch is now an actual overhead. So now if you play your cards right, you can get some really sneaky overheads in off of an IED. Next up is a highly, highly requested one. They made Dodunpa Super Dash cancelable. So they made it Super Dash cancelable and increased the uptake time so he can now do beam into Super Dash just like everybody else. Very, very cool. The next one is very, very crazy. His Volleyball Fist final hit got a huge meter gain buff. Check this out. Now keep in mind, the input for this is a little strict. If you just mash it, you only get a little bit of meter, but if you hit the button just as Tension Han glows, you get the full amount. And lastly, Tension Han's craziest change by far, they buffed his Chaozu summon. Now, first of all, it comes out faster. It is faster than before, much faster, by the way. And they finally buffed it to where you no longer have to worry about the third call ruining you. This has always been what kind of made this move less favorable and people would usually get rid of Chaozu, but that's not really the case anymore because you can now basically taunt cancel Chaozu. By pressing S again, you can tell Chaozu to stop and reset your call. You can do this on the second one to send you back to the first call and basically prevent yourself from getting to this lockout state. And if that wasn't crazy enough, you can also cancel the cancel into buttons. And it's gonna make him an even bigger threat than ever. Needless to say, when you add all of these in, plus Tension Han, I feel, is one of the biggest benefactors of the new limit break change because yes, he can do his level two into his level three. So that just means if he is limit break, he can just absolutely delete just about any health bar with level two and level three. And the fact that he can build so much meter on his own and he has his own built-in reliable assist that's no longer a detriment to him, he is definitely taking his place again as one of the best anchors the game has ever seen. Adult Gohan. This is basically a character that needs no introduction. Everybody pretty much knows just how insanely strong this character is. And he too received a lot of buffs and boy, are they some crazy ones. Let's take a look. First off, they buffed his stand medium. They increased the distance traveled. It goes extremely far now. Next, he basically got a new potential setup situation. He can now do a fast fall from a crouching heavy. Speaking of fast fall, it is also buffed if Gohan is at level five. If he's at level five, you can now cancel fast fall into attacks. His down forward heavy also received a few buffs. It now has less recovery. And they increased the unteckable time, meaning that it is better for combos. Continuing on with his buttons, they also buffed his machine gun punch. It now comes out faster, whopping eight frames, and travels further. It's pretty far now. And lastly, they buffed his level one. This is mostly so you can combo into level three in Limit Break, but it also leads to the fact that you get a slightly better Oki 
when the opponent tries to tech forward. As you see, they're much, much lower to the ground as they try to tech forward because you have a lot more frame advantage. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get away from an adult Gohan after they have leveled up against you in the corner. So putting that all together, you don't need me to tell you that adult Gohan is one of the strongest characters in the entire game. And with these new batch of buffs, he is even more threatening than before. Hit. Hit is a character that mostly received nerfs in the last patch, but in this one, he got some very, very interesting buffs. Let's check them out. First off, they buffed both of his stances. When you enter either the Vital Stance or the Tides of Time, in either one of them, you still have access to his special moves. So if you enter any stance, you can still do whatever special move you want. So that means his entire stance game just got even scarier. They also buffed the slide knockdown time of his level one super to help with DHCs and the new limit break change. And by far his craziest change, they buffed the gun. You can actually DHC it now. And not just that, you can decide how much meter is spent on it. It no longer takes all your meter for free depending on how long you hold the button, is how much meter it will spend. And yes, if you are in Limit Break, you can do the gun into a level three. Absolutely insane. It is one of those characters that has proven time and time again to be incredibly powerful and incredibly difficult to deal with in this game, and his arsenal just got a lot scarier. Goku Blue. Goku Blue is another character that a lot of people would agree is very, very strong in this game, and he received a couple of cool little quality of life changes. Let's go ahead and break those down. The first one is pretty funny. His stand medium now actually deflects key blasts. Next up might be a slightly controversial one. One of most people's most hated moves just got a very good buff. The light version of his whiffed command grab is actually more positive on hit now. So if it connects, you can actually get a combo for it. And lastly, this is definitely in the category of quality of life. His level three can be done in the air. Basically ensuring that you will never ever miss it. Once again, Goku Blue is one of the most reliable point characters in the game. So the fact that he got any buffs at all is just definitely a great thing for such a strong, strong character. Vegeta Blue. Vegeta Blue is most people's pick for winner of the last patch. And once again, he's got even more buffs coming his way. Let's check it out. First of all, his EX Super Dash Kick has been buffed. It now travels further. And by travels further, I mean it travels the whole screen. Next up, they buffed his EX Command Grab. It is now invincible partway through the animation. And lastly, they made an adjustment to Big Bang Cancels. They basically changed the window for the inputs after a Big Bang. All in all, most people already agreed that Blue Vegeta is now one of the stronger characters in the game. So the fact that he has even more tools now is just a big plus for him. Beers, this is a character whose stocks just continually go up with every patch. He just always seems to get stronger. This time around, he's mostly got quality of life changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. First up, they went ahead and buffed his auto combo. The final hit of his auto combo is now an overhead. Besides that, he mostly got changes to his supers so that they can line up with his level three. And what brings it all together is something that you just have to literally see to believe for yourself now. But Beers' level three now is fully tracking. It will just teleport to you anywhere on the screen. 
and get the hit. You no longer have to be in close range to get the grab. Check it out. Now that is hilarious. And now if you put all that together with the buffs he received in the previous patch, it's safe to say Beers is now officially anime and manga accurate. Goku Black. This is another character that many people were hoping for lots of buffs for, and it looks like Arxis was listening because he did receive a wide variety of changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. First off, starting with his auto combo, he now joins the club with Gogeta 4 and Bardock and Kefla. His light, light, light is now an anti-air. To help with his pokes, his crouch medium now hits further away. To help with his mix-up potential, he now has a new move, down back S. When doing this, unlike the down S where it's kind of one note, down back S you can actually dash cancel it. So pair this with an assist and you can get some actual crazy left right situations going on. And speaking of left right situations, they buffed all of his teleports. If you now hold down during the input, he does a brand new teleport animation where he stays on the ground. So the medium acts as sort of a fake out where he doesn't go anywhere. The light will teleport them directly to the opponent and the heavy teleports them directly behind the opponent. So once again, you can mix with these to go from the air version to the grounded version and work in your assists to get all sorts of crazy mix ups. And I even saw on Twitter that this leads to brand new combo potential as well. Very, very cool stuff. This next one is one that has been requested a lot, and that is the command grab. They actually buffed the speed of his command grab. It starts up now in 25 frames, making it pretty much as fast as most command grabs in the game. And lastly, they buffed his B assist to now also have anti-air properties. So putting all those changes together, I feel like Goku Black is much more in line with the kind of character people want. He's got his faster command grab. He's got a lot more mix options. He's got new combo options. So he should definitely be much more of the character that people have wanted him to be for quite a while now. Android 21. Now this is a funny one. As we all know, this is Arxis's darling. This is their daughter. And the buffs she got this time around are literally just hilarious. Let's take a look. So first things first, they buffed her auto combo. The second hit now travels further. On hit, it forces the opponent to now stand up. And the final part of the auto combo got two changes. It travels further, much further than before. And similar to a few other characters this patch, it is now upper body invincible. Next up is probably one of her most significant buffs. Her jump heavy is now jump cancelable. This is usually something that she can only do in Spark, but now at all times, you can jump cancel her H. That is a very, very crazy and very big change for her. And lastly, in case you were wondering why I was saying her changes are so funny, they gave her a brand new super. If you have four stocks at the bottom and three bars, you now have access to a new super. It is a completely invincible and completely unblockable super. Check it out. But the catch is, it's not immune to Dragon Rush, so you can just run up and Dragon Rush her, but no amount of attacks will knock her out of it. So I'm not really sure, as of the time of this video, what the purpose of this is, other than I guess it's an animation in the game and they just felt like giving you access to it. Maybe, maybe in the future someone will find a setup for this, but as for now, it's just very, very funny. But on a serious note, putting all those things together, Maja 21 is a super, super strong character in this game, and the fact that she's going to have better routes and better pokes just means that she's just that much better of a character who already has a lot going for her. Bardock. 
This is definitely a fan favorite and definitely a highly, highly requested character for buffs. And I'm happy to say he got some really, really interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look. Starting off with his buttons, his 5L got buffed. It now travels further forward. As we know, this is one of the best auto combo starters in the game, so that's gonna do nothing but help his poking game. The next one is a big one. This is actually huge. This is one of those situations where Arxis actually rolled something back when they almost never do. So Bardock fans should be very thankful for this. They buffed Light Rebellion Spear. Specifically, they buffed the Block Stun. As you can see, I have 21 set to guard first hit only. So check this out. It is once again a true block string. So his super, super fast lariat that they buffed in the last patch jails. That is a massive, massive monumental change. And that that alone is going to do so much for him. They also completely buffed the medium version. Now, when you do the medium version in the air, it changed the hit reaction to where you get a full combo extension. And they did the same for the EX as well. In terms of his supers, they reduced some of the recovery on his level three to help with the new limit break change. And they also made it to where you can aim the Riot Javelin by holding up forward for the grounded version and down forward for the air version. So with the changes to his buttons, spears, and combo routes, I feel like Bardock is a lot closer to the threatening neutral presence that he used to be back in the day. Z Broly, also known as Z Bully, and he definitely lives up to that name in this patch because he got some pretty wild buffs. Let's go ahead and check them out. So they buffed the Freight Train, also known as the Lariat Express. It now has less recovery on hit. So it's even easier to get combos when it connects now, both the medium and heavy versions. Eraser Blow has its effect on hit adjusted, meaning that when you hit it mid-screen, you guessed it, you now get combos. You actually get loops. I've seen some pretty crazy stuff on Twitter. You can now use this move multiple times to get loops. It is very, very wild. His level one super, when you do the light medium version, got buffed, it now comes out faster. This is to help with his super conversions as well as set up for the level three, of course. So all things considered, uh, Z Bully was another one of those candidates who is one of the biggest winners of the last patch. So if you add these changes onto what he already received, this character is a force that cannot be denied in this game. Vegito, a character who needs no introduction. He has easily become one of the most infamous characters in this entire game. And just like everyone else, he's gotten a lot of changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at what those are. First off, his 2L is now an actual low. You have to actually block this move low now. That is pretty wild. His jumping heavy attack can now be jump canceled. They went ahead and buffed his barrier. His barrier now you can do the follow-up attack even if the opponent doesn't swing into it. And last but not least, they finally, finally did it. They have nerfed Vegito A. As you can see, it is now nowhere near as plus as it used to be. It used to be plus 72. It is now only plus 58. In case you don't know, uh, plus 50 for an assist is rather low. Most assists are around plus 60. They're usually over plus 60. Plus 50 in this version of the game is very, very low. So thank goodness for that change. All in all, Vegito is always going to be Vegito. He got some pretty good buffs here, but considering he's still meter penalized and the main reason people used them was just for his A assist, I think that it's safe to say his usage is probably going to go down. I guess time will just have to tell on that one. Zamasu, 
my buddy, another one of my trademark characters. This is a character who many people, myself included, were pretty disappointed that he got nerfed in the last patch. He was one of the meter nerf characters. However, this time around, he got some very cool and very much appreciated buffs. Let's break those down. Starting with his buttons. Now, this is a funny one. Uh, just take a look at this. They buffed his 5L. It now moves further forward. Check this out. I actually love this. <laughs> it looks so funny, but man, that it's it's crazy. Like, look look at his stagger game now. Like, this is just gonna be pretty ridiculous. That's that's really really good for him. Really really good. They did the same for his entire auto combo. Actually, the LL travels further now, and the LLL travels further, so he can get the grab from even further away, and he can poke from even further away. So that means. He will be even better at anti-reflecting with his LL, which he already pretty much was, but that'll be even stronger now. Keeping in line with those changes, his Crouching Light also got a distance buff, so now his Crouching Light also lunges forward. This is going to be amazing for post Super Dash Mix. So if you go for Super Dash Mix with him, his 2L was notoriously stubby before, but now as you can see, you will be able to get these situations in the corner. And lastly, definitely his biggest buff, they reduced the recovery on the EX Wall of Light. Check this out. Almost instant. So now his EX Wall of Light has so little recovery that you can actually combo into it with no assist. That is just amazing. He has never been able to do anything like this. Like Wall of Light has always 100% needed assist to be viable. But now with assist, you'll get better mix-ups. And without assists, you get even more combo options. That is a great, great buff for him. Putting it all together, Zamasu, even with his meter nerf, is still a very, very strong character. So the fact that his buttons got a lot better and uh, arguably his strongest special move got much better, it just means that despite his meter gain being lower, his potential to get damage is higher than ever before. Base Goku, quite possibly the most requested character for buffs. This character, people have been literally begging for buffs, and he got some really, really crazy ones. Let's go ahead and take our time and break it down one by one. So first of all, starting with his auto combo, they increased the speed of it on the second part and the distance. So as you can see, it is very, very fast and goes very, very far. For his LLL, for the Ender, they adjusted the blowback on hit, and this is to help with his loops. This next one is so crazy that I honestly still can't even really believe that it's real, but it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you his regular Ginky Dama, not the super, but the charge Ginky Dama is an OTG. Check it out. Moving on to supers. Now this is a huge one. They finally buffed the Super Ginky Dama. It now has a faster startup if the opponent is taking damage. And yes, if you combine this with the regular Ginky Dama change, you can in fact combo into Ginky Dama by yourself from a slide knockdown. And if that's not all, yes, you can do 20 times Kaioken into Ginky Dama. No, I am not joking. Shh. 
Sheesh. So needless to say, putting this all together, this is going to be one of the most terrifying anchors in the whole game. Base Vegeta. Base Vegeta is another character whose stock went way up when most of the point characters in the game got nerfed, and his stock is about to go up even more because he got some very interesting buffs. Let's go ahead and take a look. Starting with his jump key blasts, they got a little bit of an overhaul. You can now whiff cancel both his JS and his J2S into each other. So no matter which one you do, you can rapid fire into the other one on whiff or on block. Very, very cool stuff. They also buffed his medium rocket kick. They reduced recovery on it, so now it is safe from all distances. And lastly, a very, very unexpected one. They buffed his level three, much like they did Vegito in the past. He now has a level four. So putting that all together, Base Vegeta is a character who excels at, you know, neutral mix and damage, and all three of those things just got better, so he's definitely going to be one of the most reliable points in the entire game. Not to mention with the new limit break changes, he's also going to be a very, very scary anchor. Android 17. He is in that strange position of being sort of a fan favorite and a public enemy at the same time. But regardless if you love him or hate him, he got some pretty crazy buffs. Let's take a look. So first of all, starting with his buttons, they reduced the recovery of his standing light. So stand light recovers much faster and is now minus one on block, which is very, very good. Continuing on, they, they ridiculously buffed his auto combo. The third hit travels basically full screen check this out <laughs> so even from back here his auto combo makes contact so that is a pretty huge buff 17 has pretty stubby buttons outside of like his medium so him being able to reach you from so far with a button is pretty crazy his crouching light also had its uh, recovery reduced as you can see that's minus two on block so again, his stagger game is much, much stronger. His crouching medium was sped up. It now comes out in a whopping eight frames. Very, very fast. And they rebuffed his EX barrier. So in the past, 17 could do EX barrier and be completely safe and call assist, different stuff like that. But eventually they nerfed it. As you can see, it is as punishable as a DP. However, in this patch, they once again buffed it to where you can continue wrecking afterward. That is a massive, massive, massive change. That means you will no longer be able to freely interrupt 17 when he's doing his wreckas. If you try to swing on him, you're actually taking a huge risk. And lastly, he got a very, very funny and very, very crazy buff to his B assist. They buffed his B assist to the point where it has a stalking system. His B assist can now stalk three power blitzes. So if you call it up to three times and then tag in 17, he now has access to a total of three stocked up power blitzes. Putting that all together, love him or hate him, 17, I feel, is incredibly buffed. I know a lot of people kind of wanted him to get toned down a bit, but it looks like Arxis went the other way. This character is stronger than I think he has ever been in this game's entire history. Jiden, the one who most people say is kind of dominating this game right now, and that is not going to change in the least. In fact, it might actually get worse because this guy right here got some crazy, insane buffs. Let's take a look. So his first change is the biggest change that he could have ever received. 
this changes everything. This basically unleashes this character and just makes him into godlike status. He now has access to reverse beats from his stand medium. So if you ever do stand medium, you can roll it back into his stand light. So now his staggers may never end. Next up, they buffed his special moves. Infinity Rush now comes out faster. As you can see, it is a whopping seven frames for the light version, 12 for the medium, and 12 for the heavy. Very, very fast. This next one is another pretty big surprising one. He can now combo off of his low counter. If you get a read and you get the low counter, you can combo off of it. Well, altogether, those don't seem like a lot of changes. It's just a few tweaks, but those tweaks are just so crucial to his game plan, especially the reverse beats. A lot of people are believing early on that Jiden might be contender for best in the game as of right now. Time will tell. The Dell. This is another fan favorite character who has literally been on a crazy meteoric rise lately. Like she's been going up and up and up on the tier list. And it's time for her to go up once again because she got some pretty amazing buffs. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. First off, they once again buffed her dodge. Her dodge is already really, really good in this game because of the follow-up, but one of its weaknesses was that it was weak to being baited. Well, that's no longer a problem because you can now manually do the follow-up simply by pressing S. So this means that even if you bait her dodge, you're still in danger of being instantly DP'd. So basically, if you're pressuring Videl, you are effectively rolling the dice. This next change uh, gets my vote for one of the craziest of this entire patch. And that's saying a lot because you've seen that we've already covered some pretty insane stuff. But I think this has got to be in the top three for some of the craziest buffs. Videl now has a built-in automatic on-block kick throw. So if you thought Videl was hard to block before, check this out. Her LL cannot hit crouching opponents. So if you are crouching, it will just whip over your head. And as we all know, Videl has a command grab that you have to crouch to get around. So ordinarily, you might think this is a nerf, but in fact, this is a massive, massive buff because if the L whiffs, you are guaranteed to be grabbed. So now you are in just this dangerous position to where if you ever duck on Videl, she can just grab you. This next one is a very cool and very creative buff. When doing her 2S, you get an added meter bonus when Great Saiyan Man celebrates. Check it out. Very, very cool. Moving on to her special moves, this is another really, really big one here. Her entire Rekka, the Videl Rush, all three parts are now completely safe. Minus five, minus five, minus five. So no matter which one you do or where you stop, you are completely safe. This is a massive change because this is one of her best pokes, but you were always forced to keep going or to use an assist. But now that it's actually safe, that is a massive, massive buff to her offense. So putting this all together, it's very clear to see that Videl was already a very scary character in terms of defending yourself. But now she has even more mix, even more meter options, even more full screen options. So she is just a massive, massive force to be reckoned with in this new version of the game. GT Goku, yet another character who people have wanted to see be stronger for quite a while now, ever since he dominated the game and everyone hated him. You know, people's tempers have cooled on him over the past couple of years, and now people want him to be strong again after he got literally nerfed into the floor. And the good news is, for the people that want to see him good again, he got some great changes. Let's take a look. So this first one, I honestly cannot believe that they did this. This is another very rare instance, but they basically rolled back his LL. It travels just about as far as it did back in the day. 
Once again, this auto combo is here to terrorize people. Those that missed it back in season two, prepare to be LLL'd. Next up, his power pole. They went ahead and buffed it even more before they gave it a key blast reflecting properties. And now it is very, very safe on block. It is at minus two. That is very, very good. They went ahead and did the same for the jumping version. It has a lot more block stun than before. And this next one is a pretty crazy one. His Kamehameha is now Key Blast Invul. So whether or not you charge it, in the middle of the animation, Key Blast will just completely pass through GT. And continuing on with that trend, they also added invincibility, complete invincibility to his reverse Kamehameha. Putting that all together, most people felt that GT was in a very strong place after the last patch, but when you add these quality of life changes on top of what he already had, especially getting that auto combo back, I think that he is pretty much as close to his old self as he can be without being, you know, super cheap. Janimba. This is another one of those characters that was very, very strong before the last patch, and people were a little bit bummed that he got hit with the meter nerf, but to offset that, he got some very, very interesting quality of life changes in this patch. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So starting off with his auto combo. This is one that I don't think anyone in the world could have ever predicted. I always say Arxis is completely unpredictable in how they patch, and this is, this is proof. The second hit of his auto combo is now a low. You literally have to block low during his auto combo. I honestly, I don't even know what to say about this. That is just actually crazy. <laughs> Next up is the final hit of his auto combo, the teleport. They increased the distance it travels. And if that wasn't enough, it's actually fully invincible once the animation starts. They also went ahead and buffed his 2H and now comes out faster. As you can see, it's now at 12 frames. Pretty, pretty fast for a 2H. And finally, they buffed his jump heavy. It now causes a small sliding animation on airborne opponents. So all in all, Janimba's changes are pretty crazy to say the least. This is obviously a very, very powerful character. So any buffs at all are going to be a pretty big deal for a character like him. Gogeta Blue, another one of the most infamous characters in the entire game. He got some pretty unique changes as well. Let's go ahead and take a look. Starting with his auto combo, they increased the speed of the second hit. It just comes out a little bit faster than before. They went ahead and buffed his beam to be more like everyone else's, his 5S. It now has more hit stun and more on tech time, making it easier for you to get those super dash conversions. Same thing with his jump S. This next one is a pretty good quality of life buff for him. They buffed his command grab. Specifically the air version, when you connect it in the air now, it actually gives you a meterless combo. For his after image attack, they went ahead and gave it a little buff. It's a little bit more plus than it was before. And outside of that, he got multiple, multiple super changes all in line to help with his ability to do the new limit break super cancel. Uh, the most notable is probably that he can now do his level 3 in the air, similar to uh, Goku Blue. This is all, again, just to help with the limit break change to the system mechanics. With all this together, I'm honestly not sure where this character falls, because he is still meter penalized, so these new changes are nice, but but not sure like where a character like this is gonna fall when you add in just how insanely buffed the whole cast is. It's like, feels like everyone in this game is so good. So I honestly don't know what the future holds for this character. Uh, time will definitely tell. 
Super Broly, also known as Super Buddy. This is another one of those characters who many, many people wanted to see buffs for him, and he got some very interesting stuff. Let's take a look. So his first buff is coincidentally one of his funniest buffs. If you charge his heavy, it now goes just a little bit further than it did before. <laughs> and by a little bit, I mean full screen. Keep in mind, this is an armor move. Headbutt. They buffed his headbutt to come out faster. So now, on top of this crazy distance that it travels, it travels that distance even quicker than before. Basically, it doesn't matter how far away you are, the grab will always hit at the same speed. So that is pretty scary. His medium anti-air grab got buffed and now travels further forward. They did the same for his gigantic throw as well. The rest of his changes are mostly about his supers. Due to the limit break change, he can now have access to a level 5 because he can do level 2 into level 3 and it, it works 100% when you're in limit break. But most notably of his supers, they buffed his level 3 when you're in the powered up state. So if you do the powered up level 3, it itself becomes powered up even further. So now you have the level 3 power up, the actual power up, and limit break which all combined together to just make one crazy powerhouse character and i've already seen a lot of tod's on twitter of people just doing like light starters into tod's so that's gonna be insane putting this all together like I, basically like i just said i think that he is going to be a very very scary character not that he's not already but now he's got more access to damage especially if he's in his powered up state kefla Kefla is another character who most consider is in a very strong spot, but she's about to get even stronger because she got some very cool buffs. Let's go ahead and take a look. So starting off with her buttons, her 5L now travels further. So now her pesky auto combo is going to be even more pesky. On her fireball, they adjusted the cancel window to make it more consistent. They also gave this property to her gigantic breaker. You can now cancel this into a super dash as well as the teleport. And lastly, they reduced the recovery on her hell zone. So now you can move sooner and put buttons on the opponent sooner. So it should have better mix up properties than it had before. So putting that all together, I feel like Kefla, she was already pretty much a really balanced character. So, so having even more tools at her disposal means she's just gonna be that much more of a well-rounded character. UI Goku, this is another character on the list of characters that people have kind of wanted to see some changes with, as I believe people have started to feel that his playstyle was a little stale, and I think that Arxis has done a little bit to alleviate that. Let's take a look. So to start off with, they buffed his 6S, it now comes out much faster, comes out at a whopping 6 frames, and they also adjusted the hit reaction, and if it hits behind him, it actually has more hit stun than usual. Next up is his most interesting change, and that is that he can now flip backwards. Simply hold back while doing a flip, and he will do any of his moves backwards. And lastly, they buffed the grab range on his flip grab. Even if you go backwards. So putting it all together, I think these changes are a good way to kind of spice up UI Goku's kit. He's still one of the best defensive characters in the game, but now he's a little less straightforward and has a few more tricky options up his sleeves to break up his kind of static gameplay. Roshi. Roshi is definitely a character who has just been on a massive meteoric rise ever since the last patch. Like most people agree that he is like super strong now, but they went ahead and buffed him even more. So this crazy old man's got even more tricks up his sleeves. Let's take a look. So starting out, his 2S got buffed. You can just visually see how much faster it is and you can cancel out of it even quicker as well. This is also true for the air version. 
And also with the air version, you can now flip forward by hitting down forward S. He also gained a new version of his elbow drop. You can now do it with the light punch button. This version comes out faster and has less landing recovery. And lastly, they did buff all his supers. So yes, he has a level five by doing level two into level three in Limit Break. And they also buffed the jar super. It just comes out faster now. So if you add up all those buffs with the buffs he received before, Roshi having more movement options, more combo options, and the potential to do a level five means that, means that this old man is definitely a threat to be reckoned with. Super Baby 2. This is another trademark character of mine, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but Arxis once again highly buffed him. His buffs are crazy. Let's just not waste any time and break them down. Starting off with this 5S, they buffed the speed. It now comes out much faster than before. This has pretty much always been his best poke, and it now is even better. From close range, it comes out in a whopping nine frames. That means when you're trying to sneak the key blast over people's heads, it's gonna be even easier to do so because it comes out so quickly. It's gonna be hard for people to react and stand up before that second key blast comes out. Following up with that, they also buffed his jump S. You can see that that also travels very, very fast. And not only that, they finally did it. They reduced the recovery. As you can see, it is only minus five now on landing. So it's gonna be a lot harder to get punished when you're using one of his absolute best pokes. But that is nowhere near all. This right here is the biggest buff that Baby could have ever had, and it's one that we've all been hoping for for the longest time. Baby now has universal rejumps. Let me say that again. Universal rejumps. Take a look. That is just so incredibly insane. That opens up so much for this character. Continuing on, that's not the only crazy buff Baby got. His other crazy one is that his 6S is now projectile invincible during the spin. This is insane, but check it out. As you can see, her projectile passed clean through me, so that means projectiles, key blasts, and assists will all pass through Baby 6S, making one of his best and most reliable pokes an anti-zoning tool. Potentially the best zoner in the game now has an anti-zoning tool. That is ridiculous. And the final buff is another one that people have always wanted. You can now special move cancel the Ozaru Super. So needless to say, when you put this all together, Baby is simply just, is just, he's literally like perfect. Gogeta 4. This character got some very interesting buffs that are definitely going to strengthen his position as a rushdown character. Let's check it out. So basically to summarize, I think uh, Arxis are Street Fighter fans because they basically turned Gogeta into a Street Fighter character. I'm not even kidding. His Stan Light can now be linked infinitely. So if you hold back and hit L, there's no limit to how many times you can do it. You can just keep going forever. So he's basically got Street Fighter staggers, literally. It works for his Crouch Light as well. So he's just potentially the best stagger character in the game, maybe, besides Jiden. 
because there's just no limit to how much you can do this. And keep in mind, this is zero. So doing this into this, you can just keep stealing turns. So yeah, that is crazy, especially for a scary rushdown character like himself. They did a similar thing to his IDL. You can now get it three times. So he now has a triple overhead. They went ahead and buffed his flip kick. Both the light and the medium versions both start up faster. So especially this medium one being plus, it coming out so much quicker is gonna add more to the whole idea of him being a scary rushdown character. And probably the most notable buff of all, a lot of people have been talking about it, his fake Kamehameha can now be Super Dash confirmed. And lastly, they buffed his A assist. It now gives you more meter depending on what level you are. At level one, two, and three, the increased meter is kind of low, but once you get to level five, it starts to give you a ton. So putting that all together, as I've basically said, I feel like Gogeta's strengths have been pretty much all buffed. Like now when he gets in, he is going to be quite a force to be reckoned with. I think this character is going to be pretty, pretty strong going forward. And finally, we make our way to public enemy number one, also known as Lab Coat. She is not getting unnerfed. It seems that all her nerfs are still in place, but she did get a few little tweaks and quality of life things. So let's go ahead and quickly break those down. So first things first, the slip and slide down forward heavy had its recovery reduced. So now it is completely safe on block. Uh, her next change is an interesting one. They tweaked the stomp. If you get the cinematic version, you can cancel it in to special moves and super dashes. And lastly for her, they just gave her the beam super dash buff that they gave to everybody else. She now has it too. So putting all of her changes together, she's still pretty much what she is now. She has a, a, a few more, you know, options here and there, but I still think that she's more on the balanced side than she's ever been because they did shoot her pretty hard. They shot her the hardest in the last patch. And I think it, it shows like one of her biggest problems is just a lack of a good assist. And that's still basically the problem now. So I don't know how much of a change these changes are gonna do again, especially with how this game is just full of basically nothing but super powerful characters. So I don't think she's weak per se, but She's definitely not the dominant force that she was back in the day, and I think we're all kinda grateful for that. And with that, we have covered all the major changes of the massive community balance patch. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Again, I'm, you can probably tell I'm just super excited about this patch. I can't wait to just get in and start labbing all this crazy new stuff. It really does feel like a brand new game, like, I just, my mind is still racing with all these crazy changes, and I'm just so excited for the future. Once we get rollback, especially with this version of the game, it's just going to be so incredibly hype, and I just can't wait. But in the meantime, thanks so much for listening. Thank you for watching. I am going to be doing guides for all of my characters, like brand new guides for Ginyu, Zamasu, Baby, and Frieza. I'm going to be doing guides for all of them, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those upcoming guides. I'm also going to be doing tons of matches to test out all this new stuff, so keep an eye out for that. I am also going to be covering the Guilty Gear Strive patch as well, so if you're interested in Guilty Gear Strive, keep an eye out for that because that patch is coming soon. As of now, the patch notes are already out, but I'm going to be covering that as well. And we also do match reviews and all that sorts of good stuff, so keep an eye out for all of that. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of the patch, what's your favorite change, all of that good stuff. Thanks again so much for listening, and I will see you fellas in the next one. Peace.